So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a quick B&M haul. I've got a big bag here before I actually need to use some of it because I forgot to film it. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. So I mainly went to B&M with Bill's sleepover in mind. So in around an hour, an hour's time, there will be nine 11 year old boys descending upon us. And that will actually leave me with 12 kids tonight for a sleepover. So I needed like some basic bits, which I'll show you first, and then I'll show you the bits for the sleepover. Um, first things first, I had to break into this. I got some cat feed, kind of self explanatory We have two cats. Um, we went for the Felix one. They like Felix. Uh, next up, I got some food and freezer bags just because they're handy to have in for all sorts of things like leftovers, pet lunches, things like that. This I found hilarious. So I ordered some of these off Amazon. I couldn't order a singular one. I had to order a pack of three for £12. Went into B&M, £2 for just the one which I think is needed. But basically they're like poles that fit inside drinks bottles for when it's really hot and that's what I was looking for. So I am returning the Amazon ones because I've not opened them yet and keeping this. But for two quid, it's such a difference in price, like massive. I could have got three of these for six quid, let alone 12. Um, so I was really happy to find that. Then next up, I got this little mug. I have seen this mug so many times since going recently and I've never picked it up. It was only three pounds. It's from their natural home range. You'll notice they're trying to like do ranges now, which is quite cute. I appreciate it, but I loved the little amber kind of, well, it's a bit darker than that really, but it's really pretty. I just thought it would be really cute for like a coffee and you can see all the froth and separation and stuff. So I picked that up for three pounds, can't go wrong. Another thing we needed were prick sticks because we go through these quite quickly. We do a lot of crafts in our house. Um, it's one of my like parenting strengths, not that I have many. <laughs> and then next up, I've already put one of these in, but I got a two pack of these Life Sense Maldives moments. So there were two in here and it looks like that. And they actually smell really nice. I'm big into scents. I think with kids and pets, um, I still like my house to smell nice um, and these are really lovely. Speaking of the house smelling nice, you have to try this if you are into 1001 Carpet Fresh. This is the Blush Pear and Blossom one and it is by far the best scent that they have ever done. It is so pretty for this time of year as well. I am obsessed with this. Next up on a scented theme, I picked up Bahamas Beach Bliss Life Scents. This is fresh coconut, wild cherries and hibiscus flowers. And I thought these would be really pretty and a few of our plugins are running low. Um, I just have them in various spots around the house just to keep them fresh. And I really, really like the Airwick range. That's probably my favorite. Then I'm just trying to see if there's any more homeware stuff before I show you the party stuff. Uh, bin liners for the upstairs bins. Each child has a bin in their bedroom and then we have a small bin each in the bathroom on the ensuite and we empty them every week and it's part of their like chores because um, I'm trying to teach them to like grow up and do their share and be good partners and roommates as they get older. And then finally really boring some platinum thick bleach which I may well use on school polo shirts because sun cream destroys them doesn't it? it goes all yellowy and then like those marker pens which nothing seems to get out of you know the dry erase ones honestly bane of my life uh other one bits i've got some roasters i always pick these up when i go because i love them and the kids love them i got some orange timeout wafers just for pet lunches because they've not had those before and equally i got some maryland cookies because again they really enjoy these and those are the birthday cake flavor then i got some new pegs so some of our pegs and we're trying to work out which ones are leaving like black peg marks on like the shoulder of dresses so if i like peg a dress up like this there'll be a little mark here and they're on like some t-shirts and stuff as well so we we've been trying to work out which ones are doing it but i think i'm gonna have a thorough check and then we've got 18 in the pack and another thing is as well they have soft grip pads so they don't leave any dents as well because some pegs do don't they and they're the minky range they were three pounds but 
we wanted some good ones because it's been driving us crazy that was actually a crest from mark and um, then i think finally hello panda i got those as well just for the snack cupboard and now the rest is for the birthday party so as i mentioned it's going to be 12 kids overall and um, so i got some paper plates because i don't even know if we've got that many plates to cater to that many children um, and we're going to order pizza takeaway from somewhere later and um, like locally probably and i just think these would be really easy for both the morning when we do breakfast i got some frozen pan au chocolat from aldi and then um they can use it with the pizza as well i got some paper cups there's 20 in here and i've also picked up some extra ones just now from the card factory so i've got enough for the morning and the evening um it's not something i normally do but i just think it'll be so much easier and then finally for the snacks i've got two packs of pringles so i've got prawn cocktail and sour cream and onion and then the rest are sweets at the request of bill because he wanted some stuff i've got like popcorn and some more crisps from aldi as well um i've got some jolly ranches because they're all obsessed with like american stuff at the moment i remember being the same when i was that age to be fair i got some toxic waste worms some dessert flavor skittles because they're new i've not seen these before some twizzler gummies there's a sour pack um, which are these ones, the tangy ones. And then there is a sweet pack, but I'm obviously gonna make sure that Stan and Daisy have something as well. So I might like save moving the sweet pack for them. And then I've got another pack of dessert skittles as well in case Stan and Daisy wanted to try them. And then finally some wham space babies. Because <laughs> I thought they were really funny. But that is everything. I'm gonna set all the like snacks up on the table over there. And then I've got some fizzy popping, we've got water, we've got squash, we've got fruit juices. I've just picked up some more smoothie for the morning from Aldi. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be good to go. But yeah, that is everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.